right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. This episode is one I've been looking forward to for quite a while now. Ever since I started this channel, I was hoping to be able to bring to you guys towards the end of the season, the Sonoma County Fairgrounds, the National Heirloom Expo. So they've got a lot of great things that they got inside here. Lots of different food displays, vegetables displays, vendors, growers, all sorts of different things. So I can't wait to get inside here and show you guys what they got going on. So let's get going, let's go check it out. familiar with the National Arizona Expo at all would have seen pictures or video of their main display. All right, so what we're going to do here real quick is go look around, make a quick little run around, take a look at some of the tables and displays here in the exposition hall. What I'll do is I'll also put out another video where I kind of take a uh, longer tour all around all the different tables as well so we'll put out a little separate video for that let's go around and take a look at what they got going around here look at that beat that's a large beat right there there's a really nice tomato displays that they set out got their names and everything there range very nicely. different varieties of heirloom tomatoes. It just seems we got some peppers as well.
Dahlia exhibit. Dahlia's on parade. Expo, they also have a lot of displays of art here. This increased the value. Yeah. Can you imagine Pablo? Picasso with a brush in his mouth? I'll <laughs> not oh, till I'm dead. The only thing is, you are what you eat. <laughs> there we got a table of some melons growing. did not quite do very well. We'll give it a shot again next year. Really interested in that one. Strawberry watermelon. Mm.
that exposition hall was amazing. Those fruits and different things that they got going on in there are something else. The giant pumpkins, wow. Um, we're out here now. They got a bunch of music going on. A bunch of different vendors out here. Let's go take a look around and see what else they got going here at the festival. a wood-fired oven made out of sand, clay, and straw, right, adobe. So we got a fire started in there, so we're going to be uh, cooking some squash later on tonight. Lots and lots of squash here to choose from. So, uh, yeah, and then uh, at the end of the night, we'll put as many squash in there as we can, put the door on, and just let the radiant heat of the oven do the baking. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, so this is to, to demonstrate using earth, you know, to build an oven. And then this little hut right here, it's called a all the caboos it's made out of cob, the sand clay and straw. And uh, it's this little hut that the kids have been enjoying going inside and playing in. Is that weird? No. <laughs> cool. 
All right, so there's a lot of awesome food vendors outside here, great music and everything, but let's head inside to the vendors hall, go check out some of the other vendors that they got going on here as well.
right, so, so my name is Dan McCallister. I'm an Aquarius, and I have really big hearts. Okay, uh, we have an app called Crop Swap, where it basically just makes it possible to trade homegrown fruits and veggies. So why am I going to the store to buy lemons that were like sprayed with stuff and picked like two weeks ago when they were green or something when I could just trade with somebody down the street from me. So our app is just this. These are just people on our app that have uploaded information. They've uploaded stuff they have. Oh, this guy has figs. Cool. I'm going to make a deal with this person. How can I get to you? I'll drive to you. Cool. And then we just barter. This guy has basil, right? This dude has like cucumbers. I'm going to barter with what I have in my garden um, and just and trade back and forth. Uh, if I have nothing to trade, I can just do cash. And that's the app. Then it's a barter system that just goes back and forth. And uh, that's about it. It's pretty common sense. You know? User viewers. Viewers, I'll kiss them all on the way. That's a bonus for using the app. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's cool because we're trying to do stuff that other people aren't thinking about too. Because like we're from the gardening world, yeah. we can like... Um, you know, like we, we can also trade seeds. So you can trade seeds or plant starts. Oh, yeah. You know absolutely. what I mean? So if yeah. I have a tomato, I could trade a tomato. Or if you have extra plant starts, I want to get some fresh tomatoes from you. Right, You're growing right. Baker Creek. Why would I want to buy the crappy Home Depot plant starts yeah, when yeah, you yeah. have like 20 really weird ones? Great, different you know? varieties, exactly. balloons, all that sort of stuff. And, and, and it's like we should set our prices. Like, why are pomegranates two dollars in the store? If you have a pomegranate tree, you're just gonna want to get rid of them. Oh, yeah. So the price goes down. I get a better pomegranate. You make money on, in a way you never were before. You know, it's just a stupid. Co it's common absolutely. sense. Absolutely, it's yeah. absolutely common yeah. sense. Totally common, common sense, sense for your faces. absolutely. Yeah. Go check out Crop Swap. Go check out Crop Swap. Then give me a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. These are all real users. We have like 400 users, and we're not even live yet. But, but you'll do. You can trade on it now. You can no. See, some people are. We're privately. Some people are doing mock trades. Not publicly. But then, but but like like these are real people. And here's the John Kohler part. You're gonna like this. Show me eight nine one one seven two. Eight nine. Well, what what city is that? It's Las Vegas. No, Vegas. you would see what exactly. Well, that's why I'm giving you all these suggestions. So you I can get it dialed in. For sure. For so, sure. So what, I want to show you the John Kohler part. So when I go to my thing, okay, let's say I'm like doing Show a me like the cheapest deals and the ones that just people lower their... And all? then you can do the details of your thing, like we were talking about, all the soil amendments you have oh, in your cool, thing. Man. So that you can do like rock dust awesome. on your thing. Like, okay, what's so your you're method? You're like, you use bone mayo, man. Exactly. You're not freaking vegan. Exactly. But, the, so, but, but again, you have people that can put in like what is the, what's in their plan. We submitted it to the app store. Alright, I'll, I'll do another video with you guys. You guys are here when I cool. film here. So. Alright, thanks so much. Cover, man. Yeah, no worries. All right, so not only do they have such great food vendors and growers and all those sort of things going on here at the expo, they also have a great series of speakers who are here to talk on various different subjects. Today I got to talk, watch a talk from John Kohler. But I didn't want to get too deep. I just wanted to like kind of summarize and give you guys my top three tips on uh, gardening and growing food. And in the evening, got to see a panel with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Hey, Robert. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to begin. It's one of the great things about the Expo, too, is there's a wide variety of things to do and check out here, especially the great speakers. Another cool thing about the Expo is you never know, you're going to run into another YouTube gardener. I just got to see Kay Cottrell from Late Bloomer. One of the things that they do here at the expo is highlight uh, garden and school gardening education programs. And they've got a whole hall here dedicated to space for school gardens. Like with anything else, gardening is really important to teach your children at a young age. As Ron Finley says, children who grow vegetables eat vegetables. Got some really, really wonderful displays from all these different school programs.
You should be a feature of every school, whether it's a elementary school, a middle school, or a high school. This education should go on throughout each year, children's public education. More public gardens, more public education. These are just some really great displays. Excellent display here. Look at that. Excellent. All of these schools did such a wonderful job putting the displays together. And how about all those schools doing a wonderful job teaching kids garden education? All right, everyone, what a great day here at the Heirloom Expo. I can't believe all the cool things and all the cool people I've gotten to talk to. We got to uh, visit with a bunch of other YouTubers as well that I've got to see. Got some great advice from them all, you know. It's one of the great things about coming out to these sort of events is you get to meet people who are like-minded and doing the similar things that you are. So I want to also thank you all for following along with me today here at the National Heirloom Expo. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns at all or anything, please hit me up in the comments section below. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, and if you can, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you again on the next episode of The Urban Gardener. John Cola that he spent a couple of minutes. They, I've made some amazing friends here. I've built a new mycorrhizal web of life, Obvious. fungal community in that soil. I've, I've done it again every year, you know, and Enoch too from the Urban Gardener in Medford, Oregon, and, and his pepper patches that he's growing on roofs. That's Replace those driveways that have SUVs in them with raised beds. And if you don't have the luxury of a driveway, put it up on the roof, <laughs> you know?